I'm Lee, I'm the bartending photo boothing rental guy, and uh, I have a party rental business that I run from the garage of my house and soon to be a commercial space, and I show you my journeys. Actually, that's my wife's Dodge journey. We did a video where we dropped off some tents in it. Um, we're gonna see if two 10 by 20 pop-up tents can fit in the back of a Dodge journey. Are you gonna help me? Yes. Mm -hmm. If I have to. If you have to. Okay, back on task, back on task, back on task. So follow me. If you like this video, if you like what I'm doing, press subscribe and uh, join us. Let's get into it. So my buddy Les just made a video about uh, steak pullers and he beat me to it. I had one on the go. So he's using the Green Monster Hydraulic Steak Puller, which is the best, I think, uh, next to like the Tent Talks. But I'm a smaller company, I can't afford it. So I have a Jackal inside a steel contraption. Check it out. Don't worry, don't worry. I will give you more than just tent stakes or pulling stakes, because I will not make that mistake. <laughs> So the ground was dry and I used 45 inch stakes, one inch round, the ground is so dry, so nothing will get them out. So I uh, whip out my new thing. So it's just a jack, uh, basically in a, uh, over a metal piece. So then I just have a chain attached to it and bam, stake comes out. Well, today it's just me and my hammer. My hammer and 20 by 40 pole tent. I didn't schedule enough guys and I switched the tent days to uh, ease the workload. And here I am setting up alone. So all good, save myself the labor. I'll put it into next week where I definitely need more help and I can't do anything alone. So because I have the power of time travel in this YouTube video, I'll show you all next week's tent setups and then we'll go back to this one. Because next week is last week, and everything is every time because we're on YouTube. Confusing? Yes. Busy? Yes. Awesome. So I took some spray paint, I didn't have white, so I used my company color and I sprayed at every pole location underneath, spray painted, and I also painted where every stake goes, five feet out. And so forth, all the way around the tent. I had marked under each location, the pole goes there. Okay, so now you just wedge your uh, center bolts in one by one. Pull your drop cloth away because nothing's touching the ground. And then just make sure that uh, your center poles are in line with where your stakes are.
I want to let everyone know that things do get easier. I remember a few years ago, uh, I was short four six foot tables and I had to go buy them at uh, $50 a pop and it cost me $200. And it really hurt me. I was just like, oh, you know, I can't afford to spend 200 extra dollars. And, um, you know, when you slowly build all the inventory, you get more gigs, right? So I had maybe two, three, four, five rentals going on every week where as year two it was like 13 rentals every week and now it's like 13 to 30 rentals every week right and so uh the more money coming in the more you can buy like today i'm short on certain tables well it doesn't matter you know i need one six foot table well i'm gonna go out and get five six foot tables and I'm going to get five eight foot tables more. And then I'm gonna add them to my website because I'm booked out for most dates. I might as well have more inventory now and I can afford that. So just keep in mind that, uh, you know, the money coming in will get more if you keep putting it into inventory, right? Uh, so just, just stay inventory focused um, until the point where you need to go to a warehouse. And then once you've built up enough inventory, then you can, uh, you know, focus that money more on staffing and um, the cost of a warehouse. It's so crammed in here all the time. The dust. Like and subscribe. And keep your dark can really clean. So a little tip, uh, if you have a part box for your tent, uh, with my frame tents, I have part boxes to keep zip ties in them, lots of packs, so that uh, when you pack your tents back up, you can keep your wires zip tied and you don't have to search and everything will always be organized. So sub rentals, uh, look at all the sub rentals. This is sub rentals for one week. I pick up every week. So, uh, I mean, look at this. 3150 for tablecloths, 239.76, um, 119. Each one of these bins, I think there's about eight or 10 are full of tablecloths. And then there's just a few chairs there as well. So, how would I have the time to do these tablecloths without sub rentals? So if you keep someone close to you that you can sub rent from for tablecloths, if, uh, if you're a tent table chair guy, you want tablecloths because you want brides to still come to you, but you don't have the time to deal with tablecloths unless you have the room for uh, all the folding and you have the washers and dryers and the time to iron out the linens. Not this guy. I'd rather sub rent for those items. Shivari chairs, uh, I have kind of regret uh sub renting those because a lot of people switched from you know some of my other chairs and opted for shivari and i'm basically just feeding the money over to the person i'm sub renting from so smart sub rental for someone like me tablecloths dumb sub rental shivari chairs that's my word for today this is how you load ten poles That's the video, that's the vlog. Hope you liked it. Stay tuned for the next one. Subscribe if you haven't. Press like to make this video go viral and stay classy.